probably seen these videos of air moving around a person coughing or sneezing. This is a technique called Schlieren photography, which was invented by a German physicist named August Tepler in 1864. And it's done with some clever arrangement of curved mirrors and a razor blade to block part of the light so that the light coming from the mirror, if it's disturbed at all, doesn't uh, shine into the camera. So what can disturb it is differences in temperature in the air. So light traveling through the air goes in a straight line, but if there's a temperature gradient in the air, a difference in temperature from one part to the other, it can make the light vary and travel in kind of wiggly lines. I'm not going to show you that technique, but I'm going to show you a simpler technique with a sort of cheaper setup. So I've got here the background is a fabric piece I bought that's got tiny checkerboard squares. Let's zoom in on that. And I can't do it with this camera because this camera is very high resolution and it will show you every one of those squares. So I got a cheaper camera set up here. Uh, my nice old video camera and my old uh, television set. And what I'm going to do with this is point it at the screen and adjust it so that one pixel in the camera is about the same size as one pixel uh, on the screen or one, one uh, square on the screen. And the effect of that is that if light coming from our screen is moved just a little bit, if it's uh, coming from a black spot on the screen, it's on a pixel there on the camera that's black, but if it's moved a little bit, if the motion of the air distorts it, it'll move over to a white square. And on the screen, we can see that very clearly.